Today, I'm going to talk about Charlie Plexing, which is the method I used to control the LEDs in the snakes video and in the tiny dice. And to explain this, I'm going to use the simplest circuit which uses Charlie Plexing, and that is a three pin, six LED system. And this works because microcontrollers have three states, high, low, and input. Their pins can be in three states, high, low, or input. An input has a high impedance, so we can think of it as disconnected. So I will use these symbols to represent their states. So in order to turn on this LED in the system, we need to set this to high, this to low, and this to input. And that way current can flow from this pin through the LED to this pin without flowing through any of these other LEDs. If we want to turn on this pin, we just flip which is high and which is low and keep this one as input. If we want to turn on this LED, we change this from input to low and this pin from low to input. And to sort of demonstrate how this works with just a simple circuit, I'm using input as an actually disconnected pin. You can see with this simple breadboard example that if I change which pin is high and which pin is low, I can turn on every LED in the matrix. And in order to further explain this, or demonstrate it. I actually programmed an Arduino to sequentially alternate which pin is high, which pin is low, and which pin is input. And so over time it turns on each individual LED. And because we have persistence of vision, when you speed this up, you can actually not tell that the LEDs are switching between the on and off states. And they'll all appear like they're on. So the last thing, or, or one more thing you need to know when you're setting up these circuits is because these are LEDs, they always need a resistor. And there's two options for where they go. If the LEDs are all identical, then you put the resistors here, and you make them basically half the resistance will be there and half the resistance will be there. If you're having this LED light on, it'll go through two different resistors as it as current passes through this LED. However, if all the LEDs are different, like you have mixed red or green or blue LEDs with different properties, then you're going to want to put the resistors here, and that's because you might need a different size resistor for each LED. And it doesn't matter if it goes before the LED or after the LED, it just matters that current passes through a resistor and the LED. So the last thing that's useful to know about Charlie Plexing is the maximum number of LEDs that can be individually controlled based on how many pins you have. And that's a relatively simple equation. It's basically the permutation of n pins taken two at a time. So going back to algebra two, we have this formula. where n is the number of pins and r is two. Because we're taking them two at a time, we have to use two different pins to control one LED. 
So that equation simplifies to, well, actually, it becomes this. which is equal minus 1 and minus 2 and minus 2. And these cancel, so it always equals n and minus 1, where n is your number of pins. And that's useful for determining which microcontroller, which Arduino you need to use in order to display the information you want to display. So that's basically all you need to know about Charlie Plexing and how it works and how to control it. There's a lot of libraries out there and example code.